photo video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can modify a solid colour or a fill for a rectangle say or a circle or any other shape and turn it into a gradient and then modify the gradient itself. So, right so just select there and go to up here fill and select gradient and then go to type so you can set to linear or elliptical etc. I'm just going to go for linear now to actually modify the actual gradient now, just go over here, select the gradient tool, and you'll get this little gradient bar, which you can move around. So you can just select, just select that, and you can position it so you can see the white there and the red there. So you can just move that. You can stretch it out, stretch it out that way, or you can make it very, very red. Now, what you can also do, of course, you can move it there as well, so you can move it that. So basically the angle thing. Now once you've actually done that what you can do if you want to say maybe change the colour and I'm just going to just go over to this white one there and then you'll see white selected here. So just bring that up and maybe go for blue. So set the blue. It's real time or fairly real time. It just was a bit slow then. Click close and you can see now you've got Different color again. What you can do, you can move the midpoint. This is a little midpoint here. You can actually say move it that way, and you've got more blue, or move it that way, and you've got more red. Now you can hold down the option on the Mac, and you can actually make that slightly smoother to ignore snapping, as it says. So you can just drag that backwards and forwards, and then there. Now what you can also do, you can just quickly click on there and you can see a little plus appears on that line. So you just say, just want it there. So you just click adds another color. And now what you can do, just double click on there and maybe make that white. So you've got now another one. So you can move that up and down all the way there. And you can also move this. Let's like say it's a bit jerky. So hold the option down and it should be less so, less snapping, so you can move that up and down. Now, of course, you can add more than that. So if you decide you want, say, another one, just go up there, click there, and you can go and move that again, change that color, maybe go for blue there. Now, of course, you can create ever complex, and there's a whole range of different, oh, there's a couple of options away, is just quickly click over here. So you can say maybe click rainbow, and just, these are the styles, but just click there, just quickly creates a conic one, and you can set that to linear. So you can see you've got now numerous possible gradients, and again, you can manipulate, manipulate that one as well. So you just go over here and just drag that around. Now, if you actually want to remove it, just do backspace. So just select that one, and then backspace. Again, click on there, backspace, click on that one, backspace if you want to change that around and again you can then move the midpoints like that and that's basic use of the linear gradient tool and how to manipulate it and also hold down the shift to make it just along that line or 45 or 90. Hope you found this of interest thank you much